The new Anderson County Sheriff is renewing efforts to fix overcrowding at their only jail. He says they have more than double the amount of inmates that they're really supposed to, and that, of course, can be dangerous. 7 News reporter Christine Brown is joining us live from the jail tonight to explain. Christine. Well, the jail administrator showed me cells inside of the detention center where they have cots on the floor for inmates to sleep. They have no more room, but they're still taking inmates in. And he and the sheriff say growth right now is about safety, not comfort. It is well beyond its useful life. It's a constant struggle to try to keep systems running. Cell block M4 is rated to only hold four inmates, but Anderson County Detention Center officials say they're forced to quadruple that amount. We're not like a Holiday Inn. There's no sign we can turn off and say don't bring anymore. Uh, we have to take every inmate that's, uh, that's, uh, that's locked up in our county, that's uh, charged in our county, and so uh, there, there's no way I can refuse them. The jail administrator says they've taken over every available room, making them out of compliance at state and federal level. It, it becomes extremely unsafe for my employees. It becomes unsafe for the inmates. It just creates a, a situation where no one is really happy here. The 62-year-old facility is also taking on sewer, heating and air, and piping upkeep problems. It, we have what a moat that's created in the back. And we actually used some pallets to build a bridge to get across that uh, during heavy rains. These issues aren't anything new. The jail has had a hard time recruiting and keeping staff around because of safety or the lack thereof. Because of something they saw on the camera, uh, went into an overcrowded cell. Two inmates threw a uh, blanket around his uh, or a sheet around his neck, pulled him to the ground, ripped his walkie off his belt, and beat him unconscious with it. In years and sheriff's past. They've been working with the county council to find funding for a solution. A new jail or remodeling could cost anywhere from 30 to 60 million dollars, a price the sheriff and jail administrators say is worth every penny. A lot of people in this jail are extremely violent, and it's concerning that we have this many people. Now, I talked to an Anderson County Council member, and because of how much it costs, they said they've known about the jail needs for a while now, but they really have to prioritize where taxpayer money goes. But they have hired a firm to take a look at different options to help with the overcrowding. We're live at Anderson. I'm Christine Brown, 7 News. And this certainly